Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. TTM, as we know, just stands for through the mail. And it's a way to get autographs, as it says, through the mail. Uh, you just send your favorite athlete or celebrity a card or a photograph, along with a self-addressed stamped envelope and a letter asking for their autograph. Oftentimes you'll get it back, and when you do, come to YouTube and show everybody so we can all share the information. That way, if it's our favorite player, if our favorite actor, our favorite TV star um, is signing autograph requests, we can all get one. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We've got uh, five today, although one is a kind of a dud. We'll get to that one first. This is a 8 by 10 photograph, or a facsimile photograph, of Ronnie Lott. Although the photograph looks real, it is not. It's a facsimile. Um, typically, when you ask Ronnie Lott for an autograph, this is what you'll get back. I guess if you like facsimile autographs and facsimile photographs, you can do that. Uh, he will keep your card. I sent a card asking for the autograph. He kept the card and sent this. And uh, it looks real. But it's not because it exactly matches someone else who posted one. Uh, earlier in the month I saw it. So, you can do what you, what, what you want to with that. If you like uh, facsimile autographs, facsimile photographs, go ahead and send it off to Ronnie Lott. Put that right there. First card return is from a left-handed pitcher by the name of Gary Peters who signed this 71 tops. Let's see if that'll focus in. Nope, come on. It's got a great signature. Blue Sharpie, 82 year old. Pitched for 14 years from 1959 to 1972. One of the few players who played their entire careers with both the White Sox and the Red Sox, playing solely for those two teams. 124-103 lifetime with a 3.25 ERA, two-time All-Star, 1963 Rookie of the Year, and I know that's why he's highly sought after by many collectors who have a Rookie of the Year uh, subset or collection. He was the AL Wins Leader with 20 in 1964, and also a pretty good hitter. Back in the day before you know, designated hitters, he was often used as a pinch hitter. Mr. Gary Peters. And people ask, you know, why do you do so much TTM? And it's just, um, you know, it's, a, it's an inexpensive way of collecting autographs. And as an example, you know, Gary Peters will be appearing at the end of the month in Chicago at a big card show, card show. And he's appearing there and he's signing autographs. And he's charging $30 per flat, which includes baseball cards. I got that back through the mail in nine days and there's no fee. So, yeah, it includes maybe a little, uh, you get a chance to shake his hand and, and talk with him for a brief time. But, again, $30 at the card show. Again, no offense to anybody who wants to charge for the autograph. That's fine. Uh, football player Hall of Famer Willie Rofe will be up there, and he's charging 30 And Ryan Sandberg, I think, is charging 100 And as you've seen on two videos of mine, you can get Ryan Sandberg through the mail uh, for $5 each, a donation. So just a thought. Next return is from Tom Kelly, 69-year-old former Major League Manager for 16 seasons from 86 to 2001. He signed it there. This is not a great card for an autograph, I must admit. Got that blue Sharpie on his dark blue windbreaker. Um, actually, even though he won two World Series, he had a uh, overall losing record. Those twins, he had several bad years with those struggling twins. Won 1,000 games, 1-1-4-0 and 1-2-4-4. Manager of the year in 1991 in the American League. And he's now, I believe, serving as a special assistant to the general manager for the twins. His number 10 has been retired by the twins. He's in the Twins Hall of Fame. Got that back in Tom Kelly from him, no fee, in 20 days. Next return comes from Seattle, Washington, and that is Lenny Wilkins, Hall of Famer, 
81 year old, former NBA great player and great coach. Let's see, did he sign too? He signed too. He had a little trouble with that Sharpie there. Looks like he had to start over and redid it. That's fine. And then he got the new one here, this fine print Sharpie. But uh, he played for 16 seasons from 1960 to 75. And he's been inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame three times. Now, how is that possible? Well, he first went in as a player in 1989. Then he went in as a coach in 1998. And then he was inducted as part of the U.S. Olympic Dream Team basketball team that played in the 1992 Olympics. He was an assistant coach in that team. And that team was inducted as a group in 2010. So Wilkins is the only person enshrined as a player, as a coach, and as an assistant coach. As a player, as I said, he was a great player. He was a nine-time All-Star. Uh, led the league in assists in 1970. And he retired number two overall in NBA history in assists, second only to Oscar Robertson. And as a coach, he set the record for most wins in NBA history with 1,300 and some. And now, of course, he's second to Don Nelson, who passed him. Uh, he won a ring in 1979 as head coach of the Seattle Supersonics. And in addition to being the assistant coach to Chuck Daly on the 1992 Olympic Dream Team, he was the head coach for the 1996 Dream Team. And that team was loaded as well with Shaq and Barkley came back. Uh, Carl Malone came back from the 92 team, and as did John Stockton. But that team breezed to the gold medal as well in 1996. Got that back from Lenny Wilkins in 16 days. No fee for three-time NBA Hall of Famer Lenny Wilkins. This fourth return is pretty neat. I forgot my easel. But we'll put it up there for you to see. It comes from North Palm Beach, Florida. And it is an all-time great Jack Nicholas. Sign that photograph in black Sharpie. 79-year-old Golden Bear. He's uh, obviously one of, if not the greatest golfer in history, in the history of the world. Uh, he may be the best golfer of all time. Won the most major championships with 18, including six-time Masters champion. He was born in Columbus. He went to Ohio State. And, um, again, clearly one of the greatest golfers, if not the greatest of all time. Got that back. It took 50 days. And there's a fee involved. But you can write it, and it's tax deductible. I wrote a check to the Nicholas Children's Healthcare Foundation. I'll have the link down below where you can go see it for yourself down below. That's nchcf.org, nchcf.org. But again, I'll have it down below, and you can just link right to it. Uh, and I also heard he does not sign cards, although I must say in the last two months I have seen uh, cards with Jack Nicholas's autograph. So he may have changed that policy, but um, I wouldn't be too sure, and you don't want to take that chance with a guy like Jack Nicholas. But that's it, guys. We got a um, facsimile autograph back from Ronnie Lott. We got a real autograph back from the Golden Bear, Jack Nicholas. Gary Peters, manager Tom Kelly, and three-time Hall of Fame basketball player, coach, and assistant coach Lenny Wilkins. That's all for today, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And to all my subscribers, I really, really appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified of all my future videos. But that's it for now, guys. I appreciate you again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.